so this is the infamous room 32 that Jim Morrison lived in for about three years. This was his home. I just got here. This place is pretty crazy. Um, a little sketchy. I'm, I can't believe I'm spending the night here, but I feel like uh, I couldn't get the full experience if I didn't. But as you can see, there's just graffiti on almost 100% of the walls here. It's just amazing. So many people from all over the place to pay homage to him. Here's what the front door says. I can get it open. Jim Morrison room. Alright. Well, I'm going to go pick up my friends Heather and Josh, who will also be staying here. But don't tell the uh, hotel attendants that, because I guess there's some maximum of two people that are allowed to stay in here. So, shh. Alright, well, uh, I will check back in. Listen so, I just them. got Heather and Josh. They came up to the room. <laughs> Hello. Look at my kiss glasses. <laughs> that you got at Ross Cross Street. So this is Jim Morrison's view out onto La Cienega. I'm very sure it was not a CBS before that. Yeah. Or a I know there was a, his One favorite strip club was called, uh, <laughs> his favorite strip club was called the phone booth, which I believe was down that way. Is it there anymore? No, it's not there anymore. But we are about to go to, uh, to Barney's, his favorite place to eat and drink. And it's also my favorite place to eat and drink. Yeah. I wonder if someone's... <laughs> So we just walked down the street to Jim Morrison's favorite diner bar, um, yeah. Barney's Beanery. Here we are, ordering at his favorite restaurant. Uh, supposedly, if you go in the bathroom, there's a sign in the that says Jim Morrison pissed there, so I was going to go check that out. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so here we are in our little uh, doors adventure. This is uh, Jim Morrison's plaque of the sea where he sit on the table, but... What? I didn't even realize. I mean, I'm like, yeah. oh. <laughs> It's freaking cool. This is fun. Playing doors, of course. And they're playing, they're playing like, the doors? Yeah, I know. So we just left Barney's Beanery. Jim Morrison's hanging out. Now we're walking. Drunk as fuck. Drunk as fuck. Not drunk as fuck yet, but pretty kind of drunk. Uh, now we are making a walk that probably Jim Morrison made hundreds of times back to his hotel room at the La Cienega Motel. <laughs> that probably didn't even exist. That looks too new. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Hi Barney's Greenery, that was fun. I sang Jim Morrison's song or door song. Hey man, for uh, for twelve drinks and three dinner plates and a sampler for only seventy-eight dollars, that's pretty good. Yeah, this is our official endorsement of Barney's Greenery. <laughs>
Barney's Beatery. Go there. You go. Damn good. You're drunk. Now we are going to go back to the room and get a little bit more fucked up and play with the Ouija board. Got yeah. Talk to you later. Alright, now we are across the street at the CVS from the famous La Cienega Motel, or also known as the Alta Cienega Motel. Uh, we are trying to find water, which we are being distracted by boobs and, and, and masks of old people, which I have pictures of. Closing? Oh wow. Good thing we got here right now. I thought CVS was open like late. Do you guys want candy? Like, uh, get like what do you want? I just got like a, like a mixed bag. I'm not a big sweets person. What do you like? Oh, your anti sweets? <laughs> well, yeah, no if we're gonna do candy bar, oh, paydays are good. I like paydays. Just grab like a mixed, like a mixed Yeah, I'm gonna grab a mixed one. Like that one right there is mixed. Butterfinger, Baby Roos, Crunch Bar. Right there? Yeah. Somebody pick it. I don't Just get a mix, it. babe. Give in. I don't want to pick Come it. Give Nope, I'm walking away. Brad, <laughs> Katie. Jim likes to play. We're going to do the shout out for Anna Vexa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So we walked into here, this these room. are all the, the artwork we decided to leave tonight. We walked tonight. into this room and somehow we saw this. I know, it's a sign. Anna Vexa is destined to be amazing. <laughs> and somebody had a threesome on this bed. And their names were um, Sam's well, arms, weird. Heath and Josh. <laughs> Joshua! Joshua! Heather's working on something over here. <laughs> and then we, and then we, we gave Jim Morrison bloody fangs and red bloodshot eyes. And. We, so, <laughs> you know, Jim, as much as we love him, had his, his homosexual tendencies. <laughs> so. his, uh, his, his favorite metal was also. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> He had a very good taste in metal. You know, he, they said he could predict the future. <laughs> that gym guy. Yeah. I decided to write in the shower some Anavexa lyrics. Anavexa's vein of vexation. And you bathe. You bathe in your sweat. When it's you you want to wash away, it's you you want to forget. Anavexa. Oh, and I wrote something else. A little note to Jim here. I'll just let you guys read it. That's my little personal note. Love you, Jim. We miss you. I wish I could have lived in the same time lifetime as you, but of course that is not possible. Visited you in Paris where they laid you to rest, visited here, where you rented, and got laid. Christian K. <laughs> from Montreal, Canada. Where is that at? Up there in the corner. That's actually kind of funny. That's oh, here's another funny. penis. Uh, we're trying to find all the penises. We thought there was no How many penises? penises what's the penis count? Uh, three? Four? You said you found one behind the side, right? You drew another one, right? There was I drew one, one. that's right. There was I this penis. one over here that used to be a penis. We added to the penis, penis collection. There's a one we should penis. draw a penis in that guy's face. Yeah, that guy looks kind There's of There's another stupid. penis. I see it on the yeah. eye. Oh, he, he, the vein. Oh my god, someone gave the door handle balls. <laughs> I didn't notice that until now. <laughs> <laughs> Does that equal as a penis? That I guess I'm like, the like woodpeck, Woody penis. Woodpecker is taking a shit. <laughs> and a bird's flying in to eat it. <laughs> uh, it's funny, like, all these little drawings kind of connect because you see this butterfly flying across, and then you see, like, his face, he's kissing Jim, and there's Jim, and there's blood, and then it leads over to there. And, like, this little guy's dancing down Some guy up there sucking Jim Into this gross thing. What? <laughs> Good job, Jim Morrison, giving some, or getting head from some guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it looks like this guy's trying to make out with it. He's like, oh, I idolize you. He's kissing the picture frame. Yeah, almost. Everything connects, though, in this. Oh, uh, it's like a big fan of me, all of it. Mm-hmm. I think so, actually. Yeah. It's written after a lot of these, uh, 
feast of Someone probably did Saint some drugs to do that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. It says Madonna here. It seems like Life is a mystery. Everyone must stand alone. Where's I hear today? you call my name and it feels like home. Madonna. Shows her up to be a useless bitch. <laughs> Funny, the more you look at the I noticed another penis. Oh. Here it is. Oh, sorry. Look. Penis. Penis. <laughs> uh, I saw that one earlier. That was the first one I saw. <laughs> this is the first time. We all oh, noticed yeah. a different penis for our first penis that we noticed on this wall. It's so funny. There this actually is like, are so If you start many. looking around the room, like it's like the stars. The more you look at the, the walls, the more things you see written on it. Yeah. <laughs> Your eyes start just focusing. It's when you sit in here for a long time. like When you first come in, it's overwhelming. I didn't see a wasted image. Like, look how big that is up there. I didn't even see that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, like when you first come in here, it's like there's it's too overwhelming for you to pay attention to anything yeah. at once. But then, like, when you sit here and you absorb it all... Dude, Italy, Milan, only in 2010, uh, uh, 2010... There's Portugal up here, too, and then I think that's Australia. 07. New Jersey. Got caught hooking. <laughs> I wonder if any hookers have ever, like, sold themselves in this room before. Probably. Let's not think about that. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> Polar bear. Where? So they don't want to spell it. Pig man. Over in the corner here. <laughs> Make life tolerable. Polar bear. Curse blindness with the horse spittle. Alright, we have broken out the Ouija board. We are attempting to contact Jim Morrison, wherever he may be. And we got Reese's. Ooh, Reese's. And Kit Kats. <laughs> Ooh, Reese's. Job. I forgot we had these. Here, wait, scoot over. Yeah, you can see it in this light. Place like right there. Ready? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna ask it. You know, here with us right now. Mm-hmm. You, you're, you're a girl. You, you, you know these things. Should I put two fingers on or one? <laughs> yeah, I have to put both on. Okay. Put two fingers or is it two fingers? Flow? It has to flow through you. It has uh, to like flow through you, and it needs to use you. You have double hands. You don't rest your hands on it. You just have them hovering over it. So, T. Whoa, that's fast. Dude, what the fuck? I'm not H. Are you still here with us? Okay. So, we just got done with the Ouija board. Well, we might go back to it. We don't know, but... We the will. thing was over here to begin with. It couldn't quite communicate to us. It kept sliding off the board and coming over this direction very slowly. And then it... And then I asked it. I said, move towards the table if that's where you want us to move the board. And it moved towards the table. So... We put it on the table. It spelt out uh, AM and a, a bunch of other things, but it started moving towards the wall. And as we got towards the wall, we asked it, is there something on the wall you want us to see? Should we turn on the lights to see it? I said, move to the right, move to the right. And it came up with this. And then it came up, and then we also looked here. We saw A. Lee, A. B. Lee Gray. We saw the first poetry over here. And then we noticed there was another one right here. And then as we were sitting here on the bed, we noticed a little more poetry from her right here. And then down here it says Ashley Gray's hands and feet. And then him and hers. We're trying to figure it all out, but we quite can't. But they keep talking about the ashes of the heart. 
And this one says the lies of the heart. I bet you some of those chicks who always want to write books. I met Dio. <laughs> I, met Jim. I met Jim. How's the bed feel? Not dirty? Feels good, actually. <laughs> Very comfortable. Do you want to try the uh, Ouija board again, Josh? Maybe. <laughs> it just freaks me out, man. <laughs> And we're not kidding, like, I've never done the Ouija board, and I swear, not unless we're touching it. Maybe this time we should try it with the light on. I mean, so we can videotape it, see if it actually happens. You're trying to communicate it to us about, about Amy Lee Gray. Or Lay Gray. Do you feel that vibration? <sighs> it's tripping me out. Okay. I really want to communicate. Okay. Okay. All right. So when's our creepy Ouija board night? I really want to use the Ouija board more often. <laughs> That's pretty insane. We gotta do it in our building too, because our building is where it's haunted. Yeah. Well, I don't have any plans tomorrow night. <laughs> well, do you wanna... I actually don't have any plans tomorrow night either. <laughs> you should have your girlfriend come up and we can all like play. Yeah, it. that'd be really good. That would be cool. That would be really cool. But, uh, yeah, some crazy stuff with how much this Ouija board. I wish we could have captured it in the daylight, but we couldn't, or the. The lamp light. But, uh, yeah, pretty crazy. Well, signing off unless something else happens in the middle of the night. Dude, something's going to happen. Anyway. Watch the thing will, like, fly and hit one of us in the head. Something's going to happen now. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you got me thinking about cool. it now. Alright, signing off. <laughs> It is the next day after our crazy night with the Ouija board. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be saying goodbye to this room soon. Goodbye, Jim. Probably get a few more pictures before I leave. Adventurous time. It's one loud ass street. Even though these windows are closed, it's loud. Oh, what does it look like in the morning? I remember we watched the video um, last night. Remember that video you showed us of the view you had? Yeah. It was trippy how the CVS wasn't there and you could see the entire like, hill. Yeah, and this is where like the phone book was right here. Stupid CVS blocking the entire hill. Oh, look, yeah. Like in the video, you could see that, that tower over there that says... Is my oh, the Emser tile? Emser, yeah, Emser tile. But like none of this shit was in the way. Yeah. What do you say? I kind of wish, like, for like one day, video, oh, yeah. we could see what LA looked like in the 60s. Like, like that really building cool. was in the video, but the, all this shit's in the way now. That'd be really cool if you could just, like, go through LA as it was in the 60s. Just for an entire day. See what's really been here in that room. Oh, my house. <laughs> Proud of me! Alright. By room 32 at the Alta Siena Gym Motel. Bye, Jim. It's fun spending the night with you. I had a great time. And, uh, yeah, I definitely think I will it be back. It would take, like... I always thought we had a great minute, right? It's really cool. Alright, now it's time for breakfast. Breakfast Alright, so last night we slept with Jim. And then we had breakfast with him this morning. Here's his plaque at his favorite bar where he used to always seat, sit. Seat, sit. <laughs> <laughs> here is uh, the rest of the door's signatures on here. Robbie Krieger, Ray Manzarek, and John Densmore. That asshole. <laughs> <laughs> that bastard. Now we're going to we're go to the door's office. And we're drinking wonderful Barney's Beanery coffee. It's delicious. So we walked the street, down the street from Barney's. That's back where the hotel is. 
This is where the workshop was, where they recorded L.A. Woman. This is the end of my little doors weekend. It was pretty freaking amazing. I spent the night in the same room that Jim Morrison spent three years of his life in. Went to his favorite bar for dinner and breakfast, late night drinks. Uh, I got to see the doors headquarters. Basically, uh, got to uh, live the life of uh, one day in Jim Morrison, and uh, it was pretty amazing uh, to think that uh, did all the things that he did at one point. All right, well. Uh, my name is Brad, and I am signing off.